Hey guys, this is Lister here, and this is going to be a short how-to guide on using T-Edit. Basically, it's a program that lets you edit your world. First, you're going to want to download it from this website. It doesn't look like that. It's been updated for 1.1.2 or 1.12. Just go here, download, and then download the most recent one, and you'll get a RAR file. And then you're going to want to extract that RAR file, and you'll get a normal folder. So you open up that folder and there it is, tedit xna. Next thing you're going to want to do is open it, put it in the full screen, hit file, open, and then select the world that you want to edit. I'm just going to edit world one, just for a demonstration. So when this world opens, it'll give you everything here. As you can see, this is just the basic world. I of Cthulhu isn't killed, either of worlds, blah, blah, blah tells you everything uh, so next thing how to navigate basically you can scroll in with your scroller and to like navigate you can either use these scroller bars or you can click in your center scroller and just drag along so zoom in drag along this here green it's actually a green G and a yellow S means spawn and guide so if I go to point scroll down get spawn and put the spawn here when I load the world in Terraria I will spawn there and if I go to guide put him here he'll be up there uh, there will be more there depending on how many people you have in your world but I'm pretty sure you can save goblin tinkerer mechanic wizard so you can do all that in here the next thing you can build anything really if you just wanted to add normal blocks you go to brush select the size so say we wanted one we wanted to draw we build in here make it out of wood where's wood 30 and then you can just oh this is your razor tool and if you right click and go up or right click and left click at the same time you can make sure you go in a straight line so if I right click move to the right and but I'm still going down here it'll automatically stay there and then if I right click again and go down it'll do the same thing and then you can use your razor tool to oh wait that's a wall so as you can see it says tile here you go to paint mode and you can select wall if I go down here now I can select a wood wall instead of a instead of a wood plot or a wood tile so now I can just draw wood walls in uh, turn off the eraser and you can just do that makes it very easy to build houses oh. and then you just click your razor and do that um, you can basically add any blocks next thing you can do is sprites so you click this tab here it says sprites and these are all your sprites um, you can add crystal hearts but you can also add chests so if I choose shadow chest you see it'll highlight it yellow come over here to sprite and click it now I have a shadow chest and I can now just place them after you do that if you go to arrow here right click one of the chests you can put anything in that chest so if I just wanted a depth meter one of them if I wanted anklet of wind one of them if I wanted adamant tight bar 200, 300 or no wait 99 I think it is I can put anything in here and when I go into my game those items will be in that chest so once you've done that you just hit save and that will now automatically be in that chest as you can see I right click it it will bring it up you can also edit signs for that as well uh, Basically that's it.
you can do whatever you want really I could just wipe this whole I'll show you here if I went here use the selection tool and dragged from there up and then hit delete that's it gone hit escape to unselect and now I have a big straight this is very helpful for killing bosses so I could go here select the brush tool, go to wooden platform if I can find it, oh no I need to go to tile and wooden platform there it is, I can just go in here scroll in very closely and as you can see it's very detailed when you're in close select the one by one go here right click and just move across and I can make a big giant wooden platform for in-game fights. Oh, a razor. You can also raise obviously anything in the map. And you can also spawn liquids, or well not spawn, place liquids. So if I wanted a lava pit, say here. And um, that's a bit big. Uh razor tile and then wall and then go back to liquids and select lava I could spawn lava if I do that that'll obviously run so if I went to a one by one scroll in here put a wee lava there so next you just go to file and select save um, I'll put a wee door here oh no I think that's a sprite um, door where am I going there wooden door and then sprite put a door here door here and then you can put wooden platforms makes it very easy to build houses just go file save and now your world is saved it's best to back up your world before you do any of this in case something happens now you're going to want to go on to terraria i have it in windowed mode at the moment just so it recording turns out okay make this a bit bigger whoa right so single player Oh and that was my first world goes in order obviously and as you can see I'm in the game I spawned there where I selected if I open this up get a torch out if I go into this chest 99 adamantite door, angle of wind, depth meter demon sight just take that out I wouldn't really recommend doing anything with items because it does make the game a bit boring. You kind of want to earn it yourself, but as you can see, lava pit. And now we have a giant wooden platform which we can easily use to kill bosses. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this short, or well, hardly short, but in-depth tutorial on how to use T-Edit. And I'll... I'll be back with more tutorials soon, I hope. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.